Hey guys, Bryce here with the NGOA and Buyers Club, where you get the lowest price guaranteed on your outdoor needs. If it's your first time here to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Today, we are checking out, well, just come check it out. We are checking out the VP9, and heck yeah, that's suppressed. So be sure to watch to the end to watch us to shoot this suppressed and see if this is the next firearm for your gun safe. So we got the VP9 Tactical by HK. Let's check this thing right out of the box. But before I start here, check out these holsters we got from Huckleberry Tactical. Freaking awesome. Check these out later on in the video, and we're going to go over the specs of the holsters and the mag carrier. So guys, what you get in the box is you get the beautiful VP9. You get three mags. One, two, three you get the grips, interchangeable grips, and you get a reloader, as well as the lock manual and some other goodies inside of there. So let's get right to the beautiful HK. Check that thing out. So we got a threaded barrel here. Now this is made at the HK Southwest Germany factory, and they're still using the legendary HK cold hammer forging process. Pretty sweet. So the thread pitch on this is the 13 by or 13.5 by one and it's a left-handed thread. So if you're gonna be put on a suppressor, make sure you get the right piston for that can because if you have a normal one that fits most US guns, it's not gonna fit. So make sure you get a 13.5 by one left-hand thread. So this is a nine millimeter firearm. The length is coming in right at 7.95 inches. The height is 5.41 and the barrel length is 4.7 inches long a little bit longer with that threaded barrel and the weight unloaded is 26.87 ounces so not too bad so let's get right in here to the mags we got a steel body mag 15 rounds it's pretty cool how they uh, have that numbered in there a little bit different from your ordinary magazines and you get three inside of the gun so on the firearm on the slide it has the clock the cocking ears in the rear as long as as well as cocking serrations down the side, which makes for really good cocking, and your grip's not gonna slide off because these ears in the back give you a nice grip. The grip on this firearm is amazing. I swear to you, this is the most comfortable gun I've ever freaking held. I mean, if I go to anything else, like this thing is super, super company. It's a positive grip, and it soaks up that recoil. So it just feels super good in the hands with the finger grooves, with the curvature. Fits in my hands really, really good and just soaks up all that recoil. The trigger, we got a 5.5 pound trigger. Give you a little test here. So a little take up with a nice crisp break. I'll show you that reset as well. Let's see if I can do this. I'm showing you guys. Let's see if we got that there. So nice reset and back in, crisp. Nice and crisp with the resets okay. So the mag release, let's talk about the mag release. It's a little bit different from your ordinary handgun. So as you can see, it's right here on the trigger guard and you push down. So that's a deal breaker for me as muscle memory is going to come into play. And when I go to hit that mag release button, it's not gonna be there because I need to push down. So it's something to get used to, or if you shoot this gun all the time, you'll be used to it. But to me, going back to this from like an ordinary firearm would be very, very hard as I'd forget to hit that button in versus down. So eh, it kind of gets me. Ambi slide lock. So you have a slide lock on the right and slide lock on the left. Ambi, pretty sweet as well. So you have three interchangeable back straps that you can put on here as well as grip panels. So you can take these panels off right here and throw on some different ones, a little bit wider. So pretty cool. So you throw those on, it comes with two of those and it looks like three back straps for your gun. So re Reliability, a quick search of the web, you will see many complaints of reliability with this firearm. 
guys are throwing it like in the mud, throwing it in sand, water, and it's having some jams and stuff like that. So we're gonna test that out today and see how well that does. So take down, I'll show you guys how to take down this firearm. So first things first, you're gonna wanna make sure the gun's clear. Make sure magazine's out, nothing's in the chamber. You're gonna wanna unscrew that thread protector. Now remember, it's a left-hand thread, so you're gonna be unscrewing it how you would normally tighten it. So pop that off. So you pull down your lever right here, okay? And then you just slide that forward. Off she comes, just like that. You have your firearm. Then you can pop out your recoil spring and your barrel will slide right on out since your thread protector's off. And to repeat that process, slide that back through, back down, put in your spring. Why put that backwards? Okay, we'll get it one way. And you just slide her back on. Cock that back, slide lock, and push that, boom, and you're good to go. Suppressor, let's show you that real quick. So thread, or the thread protector is already off. Let me grab my suppressor. We ha are have the, the Dead Air uh, Wolf SD9 today. We got the piston in here already for the 13.5 uh, by one. So you're just going to screw that on. And I believe that'd be clockwise, or that'd be counterclockwise. Be clockwise. And now you have your suppressor on. You want to screw that on. I'll show you this later down the road, so be sure you guys watch to the end. We're going to be firing this bad boy suppressed. So let's go take this thing out and do some shooting. All right, guys, VP9 suppressed three shots on the torso, or on the chest, I mean. Three, three shots on metal. We went ahead and we did four shots on paper. We got four headshots here. And then we did four shots on steel. Looking good. that reliability for your reliability out there she jammed on us don't forget guys hit that pause button right now go in the comments below and put the gun you want to see us review next and if we pick that gun we will call you out in that youtube video so pause now comment below All right guys, so we got this holster from Huckleberry Tactical. This is the grab and go outside the waistband holster. It's a one piece wrap design that allows the holster to sit close to the body, minimizing the overall footprint of your holster and gun. This model comes standard with adjustable retention and will have body side slide coverage only, which gives the user a slightly easier reholstering experience by having a lower front cut to the side opposite of the body. Many people prefer to use this model for strong side carry and it is very popular for the duty guys and the battle belt application. Uh, for duty and battle belt applications, please select the tech lock drop offset within the mounting options. This holster is also available in the quick ship section of Huckleberry Tactical Store. That link is in the description below and that's for a limited selection of gun models. So quick ship holsters come in four colors, black, brown, tan, and gray with a matte edge finish and ship within two business days. That's super fast. So guys, in the description below, go see if your gun model is available for quick ship. You'll have a holster within two days and they're awesome. So go check out Huckleberry Tactical.
All right, guys, so, so far, no um, problems with the gun cycling or anything like that with the suppressor on. And we did have one failure to feed back over there when we were shooting the other targets without the suppressor on. So we're going to keep running it with the suppressor. Again, that is the Dead Air Wolf SD9. And we got it on the half length of it right now. It also has a full length as well. So we'll keep running this. So uh, let's do it. Oh, no, missed. Damn fast. What? You missed. That was a hit. You're gonna get like the key. Yeah. You ready? You ready? Yeah. We're smaller. I'll go for the little guy. Yeah, that kind of thing. Did you get that? Yeah, I did. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Again, if it's your first time here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button up top. That way you see our newest videos, first of the hottest guns that are perfect for your gun safe. Until next time, guys, safe shooting, keep safe, and we'll see you next time.